stars. UK Palace sources are refuting Spanish journalist Concha Calleja's claim that Kate Middleton was in grave danger when hospitalized for abdominal surgery. The UK Palace sources can say what they want, but we know that Kate and William's nanny is from where? Spain. According to the Daily Mail, quote, It's total nonsense. Palace's fury over Spanish shows lies that Kate was in a coma and in great danger following Princess of Wales surgery. Palace officials are said to have been left furious after a Spanish news show's made up claims that Kate was in a coma and in great danger following abdominal surgery. Overseas journalist Concha Callea claimed doctors had to act quickly as they were saving her life in a broadcast the day before she was released from hospital. The writer, 59, who has appeared on Spanish TV as a royal expert, said the medical team's drastic actions included intubating the 42-year-old Princess of Wales and putting her in an induced coma. She claimed there were serious complications that they didn't expect because the operation went well, but the post-operative period didn't go so well. She continued that Kate's recovery was possibly going to require a bit of assistance, and I'm not just referring to her family as she said, practically an entire hospital was being set up to support her at their Windsor home. But the Spaniards' claims made on news channel Fiesta have been rubbished by the palace. It's total nonsense, a source told The Telegraph. No attempt was made by that journalist to fetch check anything that she said with anyone in the household. It's fundamentally totally made up, and I'll use polite English here. It's absolutely not the case. Notice he said he was going to use polite English, right? Shading the journalist for being primarily a speaker of Spanish. Is that European on European shade? And we know when they claim that there's absolutely... No one in the household who was talking. There's at least one person in the household whose native language is Spanish. I mean, it's simply logical. The claims about the Princess of Wales quickly went viral and was even taken up by the country's more serious sites, including El Confidencial, La Vanguardia, and La Razón. Callea claimed to have gained the insight from an aide in the royal household in a completely confidential manner, something the palace has completely refuted. They also strenuously denied her assertions that Kate had been taken to hospital for the first time on December 28th, where she stayed for several days as she, quote, began to feel unwell not for the first time. Kate Middleton returned home at the start of this week after a two-week stay in hospital following abdominal surgery with flowers and a gift bag left by well-wishers driven back to Windsor by a royal aide. Those were the pictures with the blankie and the sticks, those little twisted up twigs in the front seat. She went into the London clinic 14 days before on Tuesday, January 16th, with royal sources saying she was making good progress, unquote, and would now continue her recovery from home. Kensington Palace made a statement. The Princess of Wales was, di the Princess of Wales was discharged from hospital just hours before King Charles also left the London clinic after a three-day stay to recover from prostate surgery. The beaming king was pictured leaving the clinic with Queen Camilla by his side. Charles visited Kate last Friday morning, before his operation and has also been visited by his wife, Queen Camilla, four times at the hospital in Marylebone. Kate, who is said by Kensington Palace to be doing well, left the London clinic in Marylebone yesterday morning after being admitted for surgery on January 16th. The mail revealed on Monday that Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis were not taken to visit their mother in hospital after she recovered 
from abdominal surgery. As her children would have been in school when she arrived back, it is likely they would only have seen her for the first time when they returned to Adelaide Cottage later in the afternoon from Lambrook School, a 10-minute drive away. It will almost certainly be the longest period the princess has been away from them. William and Kate have both prioritized their children over everything, including work, arranging engagements so at least one is able to do the school run where possible. Or is it that Spanish nanny? They have also ensured that foreign tours are shorter to allow them to be Home at weekends, the only exception being their 2022 trip to the Caribbean. It is understood that Prince William, who had cleared his diary to be by his wife's side throughout, was at the hospital when she was discharged and is likely to have driven her home, but no pictures or video. In a statement, a Kensington Palace spokesman said, The Princess of Wales has returned home to Windsor to continue her recovery from surgery. She is making good progress. The prince and princess wish to say a huge thank you to the entire team at the London Clinic, especially the dedicated nursing staff, for the care they have provided. The Wales family continues to be grateful for the well wishes they have received. Charles walked out of the London Clinic in Marylebone with Queen Consort Camilla by his side today, following three nights under observation. The 75-year-old monarch was admitted last Friday morning at about 9 a.m. as he underwent a corrective procedure for the benign condition. The road had been cleared, but a large crowd of children and onlookers had gathered to watch. As they got into a waiting car, there was a strong presence of uniformed police officers who stood guard as the royal couple were driven away. It has been reported Charles could take up to a month off from public duties as he recuperates. The king was twice visited by Queen Consort Camilla yesterday, the third and fourth times she has been to see him at the private hospital since they arrived. Hmm. Interesting. A long article. Not not a lot of facts tumbling out of that one. <laughs> 